Okay, I'm Brenda Ann Keneally. I'm independent uh, visual journalist, visual documentarian, or sometimes I'm calling myself visual anthropologist, whatever. Uh, I make stuff that you can see in here. And I'm, I am usually led to a subject by something specific, by a small story. Uh, like, for example, the Upstate Girls, it started out with two teenage girls who were raising a baby together because the father, the biological father of uh, the baby, was in prison. And from there, it really spread to all the girls in the neighborhood and their interaction with each other and the way that their sort of love lives and, and emotional choices um, pushed them down a path that could either... Uh, liberate them or kind of trap them, which I think is a universal woman theme, but very specific to a kind of working class woman that I am and know very well, um, where love seems like almost like uh, has the promise of travel in a way, yet you can sometimes wind up at a bad destination. <laughs> And so that, I mean, and, and usually I just show up. I show up with a video camera, I show up with a still camera. Um, sometimes I like to indulge myself visually. I'm shooting much more in a fine art way of portraiture now for the stills and allowing the video camera to do the real kind of moment work, which is probably counterintuitive. It would seem like you capture a moment with a still and um, the longer uh, sort of document. <laughs> with the video, but once I have the video, I can get the whole story of what's going on. Uh, I also love the ambience and the movement, very into the food and the sounds and the way these guys' daily lives go. I think it's poetic. Um, but then I can think of what is the point that I really need to get for this particular month or group of month or period in this girl's life, and I can think about what that is and sort of capture that in more of a formal portrait that's a bit calculated. So that, that's the way I'm working. Uh, I, I also still, the, the, when I do a book of this work, it's going to be, and it's, start, it's starting to be laid out as a graphic novel, uh, which can parlay, translate a bit to online, but not totally, because I think that can get kind of icky and we're still challenged about how to put this much work. And the video, which is about 300 hours, we've talked about releasing it as a series online. Um, Hopefully we'll get some PBS funding and airing as well, but we would not do it if we couldn't. And we think it would be about six hours uh, with each girl having their own kind of segment because it's a, it, it is chronolog chronological, but it also um, it, it's each girl has their own kind of journey. And, and, you know, if you think of a book the way the chapters are laid out, it's often you know plot development or character development, and then there's a chapter that's the overview of the period in history or the, the place or the psychological whatever. So that's what I'm doing. Of course I'm not thinking about any of that. I'm just showing up with a lot of heavy stuff. Is that good?